What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're talking about the convert to UTC function in the date and time functions collection. So convert to UTC is the ability to convert a given timestamp back to UTC. So maybe you're working with companies that are outside of UTC, but when you write the data back to your database, it needs to go in at UTC, or maybe you have um, a business that works in UTC and you need to convert all those things back to UTC. That's where this could come in handy. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow and I have a I have two compose actions. The first one is actually one from a previous video. So if you watch my previous video on convert to time zone, what you'll notice is that I actually put in a, um, a UTC time zone here. Then I said it was the uh, GMT standard time because currently UTC and GMT are the same thing. Uh, and then I converted it to Eastern standard time um, and then I formatted it. Let's get rid of the formatting here. Um, and this is actually what I'm going to use to convert it back to UTC. So we're going to convert it to Eastern Standard Time first, and then we're going to convert it back to UTC. Simple. So I just update that and remove the formatting. Then in Compose Action, I can click in the Input. I can go to Expression. I can scroll down until we get to the Date and Time functions. Date and Time. Click on See More. And then we have this Convert to UTC function here. And we've got three parameters we need to pass in. We need to pass in a timestamp. We need to tell it the source time zone. And we have an optional third parameter of format as well. So the format allows me to change the, um, the, the output of this function. So I'm going to click convert to UTC for now. The, um, the timestamp we're going to pass in is actually the output from the previous step. So I'm going to add that in into the dynamic content. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we are going to tell it the um, the source time zone. Uh, source time zone. Now the time zones uh, are actually on this website here. That it tells you here. Um, you can go to that and you will be faced with uh, a page like this, which is the Microsoft Time Zone Index Values. This shows you a link. This shows you a list of time zones, their index, their hex index. Um, the name of the time zones and the time of the time zones. Now Flow actually uses the um, the names of these time zones to do it. Um, there is a note that says you may need to remove some punctuation, so things like U dot S. Um, you may have to take out those those dots, uh, but just have a play around with it, and Flow will tell you when there's a problem. So because we're converting to Eastern uh, Eastern Standard Time, and we want to convert it back from that, we're going to copy that. We'll go back to our flow and inside the uh, single quotation marks, we will paste that content in, so Eastern Standard Time. And that's all we're going to do for now. We're not going to add the formatting, so we'll click that and we can see it goes in there. So let's test this out. Click on Test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click Done, and we can see. So. This is one from my pr from my previous video. So this is the first step of this. So this has converted the time currently. So it is at the time of recording this. It is the 30th of January, um, 2020, about um, 7.46 in the evening. Um, Eastern Standard Time, this is what it's been converted to. So it's about five hours behind. So it's taking it to about 2.45 uh, in the evening. And then the Compose action should take it back to 7.45 in the evening. So we are taking a timestamp from a different time zone and then fl the flow is understanding what that time zone was and converting that back to UTC here. And as you can kind of see, both of these are in uh, a UTC style format. So we have uh, the year, the month, the day, T for time, then the hours, the minutes, the seconds, and then the milliseconds with a Z at the end for Zulu, meaning that's the end of the timestamp but we do have an optional parameter we can pass in to format that. So let's take a look at it. So if we go to the end part of this expression and we add a comma, uh, it will tell us that this single format, um, you, you can specify a, uh, a format um, that is part of the ISO 8601 standard to format date and time. So the ISO standard defines how 
dates and times are represented in terms of uh, letters or a combination of letters and things like that. So at the moment, the tooltip is actually saying that if you don't provide it, it's going to, prov it's going to format it in what's called the O format. And the O format is that UTC style. But you could add in single letters um, that do different things, so like D or G, for instance. Um, you can also specify things like um, the actual formats, like, you know, D, D, M, M, Y, uh, y, 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 to do day, day, month, month, year, 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 so the four years, uh, sorry, the four um, digits in the year. So you can uh, specify those different things. Now, for the interest of this, I'm just going to put in um, D. So D is a command in that format or, or, you know, a style in that format, and it'll output it, uh, output it from that ISO standard in that format. So click update, hover over just to make sure it's updated, it has, and we'll just retest this, run the flow, click done. So if we expand the first compose action, this is what we saw last time. Um, this is that UTC style format or that O format as dictated to in the ISO standard. And then this is what um, putting D in those uh, single rotation marks outputs it in. So it outputs it in an American style format where you have the um, the month first, and then the date, and then the year. So we have no time. Um, the year is a full format. We have no time stamps after that, uh, and that's all it does. So we actually can't see very well with this uh, with this example what exactly the UTC style is, but um, you get the idea of you can add this conditional formatting on as well. So what do you guys think? Is this something you're going to use going forward? Is it something that you already use? Uh, I'd like to know in the comments down below. Um, I can see a lot of a lot of reasons to use this. Um, I said things like businesses that work at UTC or maybe need to write things back to database um, in UTC style format so that uh, it understands it and so that the, the numbers aren't wildly out. Um, anything like that. I'd like to know what your use cases are for it, so let me know. Um, if you if you like and share this video with your friends, it's always appreciated, um, especially if you found it useful. Uh, if you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.